Oh, through all our history, at least 2,000 years, my family is primarily Native American. And when you say at least 2,000 years, that means, I assume, that there's, you can trace it back to Africa and also to your Native American heritage. The Africa part, I'm not as certain about, although the stories, the oral history has been there since the 1700s. And not only did I hear it, but my youngest brother, nine years younger, heard it as a little child. I mean, uh, but the Native American thing is, uh, is real clear. And because uh, most people aren't aware that the uh, Native American system was very similar to the European system. They, the, the people who govern were from aristocratic families, and those families had certain responsibilities. And my family's responsibility was education, and then, of course, passing it on from generation to generation orally. So uh, it, it is uh, uh, pretty clear in terms of... Uh, of, of, of the Native Americans. What that meant was that uh, uh, they were responsible for knowing everything in that area of, of uh, well, the, uh, um, the oral historians overall for the whole nation. Uh, their primary job was learning everything about the civilization and digesting it and passing on the best part and, and leaving the other part behind. That was their job, sifting and passing, because you can only remember so much orally. So, and the different families had different responsibilities. Some were responsible for medicine, health, some responsible for uh, uh, education, some responsible for farming activities or whatever. I mean, but each each uh, uh, family had its own responsibility. And uh, so our family was education, which meant we had to learn everything about education, the procedures, how you do it, I mean, uh, and then pass that on to the next generation. And you said that, that the history would be sorted out so that the good things were preserved and the rest was left behind? Right. I mean, they, the best is preserved, and then the rest. In other words, you have to determine how much can be passed on, and you have to select what that is from what's available at this time. I mean, they are, so it was quite a process that uh, um, uh, was involved. And, of course, uh, uh, even after the Europeans came, through two or three hundred years, it was still against the law to write anything. I mean, they, 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 the system of oral uh, passing on, it had to be done that way primarily because of the uh, sifting process. It's, it sounds in, in some ways similar to the, to the tradition of the griots in, in, in Africa, in Very West Africa. Very much so. Uh, you know, I, I, I made many trips to Africa, and uh, very much so. And it's, it's very, very uh, similar, but it does not surprise me, because they had an oral uh, tradition as well. They did not have a written language, the same as the Native Americans never had a written language.